Okay, so I'm Grasswalker. Hello, and welcome back to Shadow's Peak. Choose your language. American. Again. <laughs> I didn't know that had come up to start the game again. I guess this is going to be a running theme of this horror game. <laughs> but, um, last I checked, we were some journalist guy. We had, like, fell over, and then we were on this kind of island thing on a pier. We were with this girl as well. I remember that. Oh, shit, we need Wazd. I was so not prepared for Waz. It's wanting us to swim down here, I can tell that much. So fuck it, we may as well give it what it wants. We've only got one direction to go, we have to have enough air to do it. <gasps> Alright, what's in here? Um, doesn't look like anything much. Ah, oh, it's another Buddhist guy. Well, I don't, I don't know he's Buddhist. That's a fucking assumption and a half. That was totally out of order by me. He could, he could be whatever religion he wanted to be. Alright, so that was just a side cabin to refill on air, but I guess I could have made that anyway. I hate underwater. Mm. Oh, shit. We need fresh souls. Kill them and you'll get your fiancé back. Oh yeah, I have a torch. Do I have, like, a limit on light? Like, batteries? I don't see anything that would imply that, so I'm just going to use the torch. Um. Oh, this is so fucking... So fucking unsettling. Oh, this is that dude with his leg. What direction is that coming from? It's from down here. Is someone there? Oh my god, I am so fucking sorry. That was not intended. How do I take it? Oh, it looks like the battery's died. Looks like it's broken. There's a note inside. I saw a girl shoot a guy to death. <laughs> I decided to wait it out in a cave but stepped into a bear trap. I hope you're not reading this because I didn't make it. Oh, I hope you're not reading this because I didn't make it. I hope you're reading this because like, I've given it to you and it's like, haha, look at this. Can I have that light? Well, I did what you wanted, creepy text message. I accidentally murdered someone. Hi. Ow. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, shit, it's fucking still coming for me. Wait, what? Where the fuck am I meant to go? Deftly avoided. Do I have to bait it into burning those plants down? Oh shit. Gah! Fuck's sake. What am I meant to do? <laughs> Ow! I'm not fucking fast enough to jump out the way. I'm so dead right here. Yeah. What? Alright, so I think I have to... I think I have to set fire to this, because there's a lantern here, it looks like there's water that goes down, and water would obviously be the answer to whatever the problem is. So that triggers him, I have 100 health to work with, but I don't know how to bait him into hitting that without hitting me first. Ah, how did it still- 
will get me! For fuck's sake. Okay, it worked, it worked, it worked. Oh shit, he's still coming for me. You fucking burnt down yet? How long does that take to burn down? Fucking Christ almighty. Oh, I'm knackered, that's great. How many hits do you take? Oh, I just have to survive. For long enough. The further away from it I get, the longer I have to fucking... ...move. Oh my god, this isn't horrifying, this is just slightly inconvenient. <laughs> is that making good progress with the burn? Okay, it's nearly done. Alright, I'm fucking gone. That's a cute combat mechanic though, like... It wasn't bad. But it wasn't good either. There's nowhere to go from here. Oh, the fucking thing is still going, that's why. Fucking hell. Alright, well, let's try and lead it in here then. Yeah, fuck off, you little teddy bitch. I need to find a way to heal myself, though. We need fresh souls. Okay, yeah, I get it. You fucking want some souls. Mm. I'm ah! <laughs> it wasn't that hard, was it? Just a couple more. Well, don't fucking send a teddy bear to come and kill me! Like, if you want me to collect your souls, fair enough, I'll do it. Like, I'm a morally grey person and I care about that woman quite a lot. Oh. Oh! Oh, okay! I was meant to run! I thought it was like a standstill and it won't know where you are kind of thing. I should know by now that any save point is immediate death. Like,. Alright, let's just get a head start. Still coming after me? It's just gonna chase me to the exit. Alright, I'm out. Hopefully it can't also chase me out here, or else the game is just fucking gonna kill the shit out of me. But, um... Alright, so I'm now on Soul Collection duty for Mysterious Caller number one. Please don't be out here. Okay. Oh, it fucking is! What? What? How can you be out here as well? Is it just not gonna stop? Oh! Oh no! Well, which way? I was very much presented with two directions and I cannot decide which. It looks like there's something over there, I'll go this way. My guy is a good swimmer to be swimming like this with one hand, like, holding this torch. What the fuck was that? Oh, frog. Let me out of the fucking water! Alright, that's what I thought, bitch. Alright, there's a creepy rock this way. There's also a town that way as well. And a lighthouse. Hello? Alright, whatever that is, I touched it. Do we go to the lighthouse first? The lighthouse seems very important. 
Whoa! Whoa, Snake Man, chill. Snake Man, chill! How do I get rid of Snake Man? Do I touch this again? I'm just gonna have to, like, fucking... <laughs> crawl my way down to the lighthouse, I think. Ah. Uh... If Skyrim has taught me anything, as long as you don't take all the full damage in one go, like, just slowly massage your way down the mountainside. Ooh, a chair. Interesting. Hello, Mr. Chair. And a house. Oh, it's like a shooting range thing. Caravan. Is that a save point? Oh, it's a radio. It's trapped inside. Famous serial killer was seen in the vicinity of Shadow's Peak. Oh, okay, so they've trapped the serial killer inside. Keep out. Fair enough. Hello, Birdos. That doesn't sound good. I found a key to the cabin. It's, I'm completely healthy. Oh, I'm up to what? Ah, snake! Fuck off! Alright, I'm out. A key to the cabin. Wait, did we pass a cabin before? There's also a boat. I don't like that this is now an open world horror game. Because that makes me feel like I can die at any point. Like, if you are in this linear, single direction railroad of a dungeon, and you've only got one direction, you know that you're probably not going to die, you can just fearlessly explore it and then you might trigger something that you'll then have to do to not die. That's a fucking whale! Oh, we're having a whale of a time in this game! <laughs> that was so bad. I need to be stopped. So there's something trapped on the beach. There's a whale that's... Oh, shit. How did he find me? Oh, save point, save point. Ow! Ow, I shouldn't have jumped. I bet if I didn't jump, I would have been fine. Oh, I fucked all my vision up by falling off of that. But yeah, like I said, open world makes it feel like you're more likely to just die. Like we saw just then, that weird shadowy figure just turned up and just started screaming at me. That was a very stupid move by me. There was obviously a rockfall and I just waltzed into it not expecting a second rockfall. Ah! Fuck off, snake! I just wanted to find my bearings and realise I was back where I was. Okay, so... That's the house. We've been to the house. Next thing on our list is this little cabin here, I guess. With the radio signal. And I think we'll explore that in the next episode. We got out of the dungeon. We murdered a dude. Um, and I'm happy to leave this one here. So thank you so much for joining me in this episode of... Shadow's Peak 2, Choose Your Language. Which is neither a sequel or has that tagline but i'll see you in the next episode bye